So here's uh, the Trans Am trying to deal with uh, getting rid of some of the imperfections. Um, some of them are not definitely going to come out. So I'm just going to roll this over actually so I can show the customer um, what's going on. So you can see uh, oh, this kind of orange peel ness. It's a little wet up there, so some of it is water. Um, here's the trunk. Um, there's a few chips here. One there, one there. I can't deal with, or the only way I can deal with it, sorry, is uh, by uh, touching up. And we got some staining going on here. You can see right in this area, there's like some darker spots. Don't know if I can get that out. That's a really, really big chunk of dirt, uh, which is uh, another indication, obviously, that this has been painted before. Um, the plastic spoilers and plastic bumpers are pretty stained up. You can see the staining here and here you can see it more on the silver than on the gray but nevertheless it's there on the edge of uh, the quarter spoiler the paint is all um, peeled and chipped off so if anything I'm gonna just try to blow in that edge and then clear it onto the driver's quarter as you can see let me just try to get out of my light as you can see, all here, sorry, there's a bit of water on it. As you can see, all here, it's really scratchy. So obviously, that's old body work. So obviously, this has been painted before. And um, I don't know if you can kind of see, there's some bubbling here. Yeah, you can see it in the frame. There's some bubbling here. That's, um, so I can't really wet sand that or do anything because it's lacquer. I'm just going to lightly go over everything. Obviously, I'm going to avoid this uh, circle. I don't even know if it's soft. I'm kind of pushing on it and it's not moving. But uh, that's the part that would break through and then I would have to touch that up. So I'm going to try to work around that. Um, other things I've seen on the driver's side, um, the roof area, I guess I probably should have given this a dry, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty peely and marky all in here. Um, you can actually feel it. So that's either rust coming through or that's, uh, Possibly old body work. It's super orange, pretty peely on the roof as well. So again, this is a single stage lacquer, I believe, because um, when I polish it, uh, you can see the color. So there's some staining as well on the roof. And uh, yeah, right here, there's uh, Kind of a bubble. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get a good angle so you can actually see that. Uh, crap. Uh, let me try to put my finger on it. Anyway, there's a bit of a bubble there. Um, so as you see, the paint is kind of, you know, it's got some dirt in it and it's got um, lots of peel. Um, the hood, I've done the passenger side, um, but uh, it's really, really orange peely. You can see it on the spoiler and the paint is kind of stained. But because it's single stage, I can't 
do a lot. You can see how it's super peely. So I'm gonna try to get some of it out with uh, 3000, but I don't wanna go any coarser than that because I don't wanna take off too much paint and because it's um, single stage. Um, would have been lacquer back in the day. Sometimes lacquer would be cleared over, but um, the parts that I have wet sanded, it's uh, obvious that it hasn't been the cleared over because color's coming off the pad, onto the pad. So anyway, um, there's the passenger side, which I've already polished up. There's a few things like this chip here that um, I'm just gonna touch up and on the bottom of uh, the passenger door, you can see right here, there's a big run. So I don't think that's factory either. Um, would be nice if there was still factory pin on this because it's got such little miles on it. Um, but uh, yeah, some of it's been messed with. Um, the hood is in, is in pretty good shape. Managed to get the shine up pretty good. On, on this side, but again on the bumper, the bumper's got stains and it's got uh, a few, a few chips. I don't know if you can see that. So this has been painted again. So I'm gonna to try to touch up the chips on this. There's a couple of big ones. Um, yeah, this is like, these marks are like under, under the paint. You can see them. And as I rub them, and if you see them on the profile, that's actually right in the paint. So I don't know how much of that I can get out. And again, there's a staining on the plastic, plastic bumper. I mean, it's several years old. This is what, a 79? So it's quite old. So if it is original paint, um, it's starting to delaminate in spots. And um, yeah, but we're gonna try to keep this original. Um, that's really all I can see that's super ugly. The driver's side is pretty good. I'm just gonna polish. Again, all the decals, everything are in pretty good shape. Um, this side doesn't look like it's been messed with. The door anyway. Some, so there's some dirt and stuff that I'm gonna try to get out. I think it's a bit of bird shit or something, anyway. Um, so that's it, there's quite a few markies on this, but I think a lot of it is just on the surface. Yeah, um, so yeah, so we got to work with. So the worst part really is this, uh, this quarter panel. Um, you can see the scratches. So I'm gonna try to make that look a little prettier. Uh, but again, I do not want to cut through because that means painting the quarter all the way over and the roof because there's no break and that means redoing all the stripes, which I don't think the customer wants to do because he wants to keep it original or as original as it is right now. So yeah, there you have it. Um, so yeah, I'll take some more shots and some more vids once this is uh, done. But uh, yeah, so those were the issues. So I'm gonna try to deal with the trunk first and go around to the front and then deal with the bumper a little bit. So yeah, there you have it. Let's lay it opal out.